We're really excited to be bringing some of the best innovators from all kinds of different business sectors to share their knowledge and insights on innovation with you and other people across the built environment sector, those who want to drive change through their company and beyond. So enjoy this short taster, then take positive action. The challenges that future leaders in construction and the built environment uh, are facing very much around um, how they're going to do things differently, how they're going to deal with uh, the environmental issues that are out there, how to look at the digital world and use that. But the leaders themselves um, need to, to, to really start to think differently and how the jigsaw of all the things from innovation to people to customer service all fits together to create a better built environment that we should all be contributing to. Innovation is uh, something, of, it's about looking at things slightly differently. Innovation is, is about turning things on, on their head, having discussions, talking about how there's a house in, in Brighton that's been built and they've been using waste products from the aviation industry, such as toothbrushes that people don't use on, their, on flights, and using that within the construction of this house to demonstrate what waste is and, and how that links together. It is thinking slightly outside the box, thinking about how you can do things differently and make a, at the same time making a real difference. The IFLP um, and the contribution that uh, I want to bring to, uh, to the whole programme is to um, help and support people to understand what success is, is and what it looks like and how yeah, it all knits together. Um, innovation uh, in leadership is, is as key as innovation in, in product and in service. So um, I'm very much looking forward to um, supporting the candidates in, in the programme to really start to think uh, above where perhaps they haven't thought before. The fact that the programme is across company and across role and, and really embraces the whole built environment should enable the candidates to really start to think outside their siloed approach that they've possibly been brought up in. Every project, every um, activity that most of us have embarked on, where we've been able to work as teams, what actually happens is that the, the success of that project is much more likely. Examples of where I've seen innovation working within the industry is fundamentally around where people are doing things slightly differently. So the, the, the use of digital technology in design uh, and, and turning that into better um, design and, and therefore better delivery on site. Fundamentally it's about doing things better and more efficiently. Certainly um, as a business we've recognised that and seen it almost as a business opportunity. I'm seeing it, uh, innovation not working in a number of areas and it's invariably around the leadership and the, uh, and the drive to make it happen. There's too many people uh, in, in senior positions that are going, well, uh, this technology, this digital revolution that we're going through um, will employ them, someone else to do that. Actually, that's not good enough. Um, the, the, the leaders of our businesses, the leaders of, uh, uh, of our industry need to really embrace it and understand the opportunity that, that it presents and therefore give that motivation and, and that leadership, that strategic thinking into making these things happen and, and driving that forward. What excites me about this programme is is actually this is really different. There is no program w where it's across the whole sector that is really focusing on individuals and giving them some real tools to, to take away. This is about the future. This is about taking um, individuals that will be our future leaders and creating a wealth of, of understanding at that top end that means that, that, that we can really move the industry forward as it should be. Certainly for the, the individual that is being um, put into that 
um, into that position where they can share knowledge in a non-competitive environment that can actually come away with some real solutions to, to real issues within the businesses and, and organisations they're working in. There's not many places where you, you would have to pay a lot of money to have external specialist consultants coming in and telling you what you need to do. Actually, no, let's go out and learn it ourselves. Let's understand what it is we do. Take that back to the businesses and do that ourselves. <music>